Hey everyone, it's Dana from Pellerini. And hi, it's Heather with Local Mom Scoop. And we are here today at Wellington's Tiger Shark Cove Park. We figured it's a beautiful day out. The kids are home from school on vacation. So why not air them out? <laughs> <laughs> air us out. Oh, hi Rosie, thanks for joining us. Hey, I hope Rosie. you can I've always asked Rosie if she can hear us, and she always seems to give me the thumbs up, so let me know. Yes, please. So, yeah, if you're just tuning in, it's SoFlo Moms on the Go. Here we are today. Um, Dana was just saying that we, everybody's been stuck inside for mm -hmm. the holiday, opening presents and trashing the house. And um, we decided to uh, go outside today. Mm -hmm. So, um, I took a little jaunt over to... Uh, I'm connect, trying to... There we go. Hi. Sorry. So, um... If you're just tuning in. So, Flo Moms on the Go, we always simultaneously broadcast mm -hmm. from both of our Facebook live pages. So, tune in to um, Pellerini. And, um, yes, and I love the way you are both seated. Everything oh, looks thanks. great. Thanks, Rosie. Thanks. Oh, Hi, no. Lucy. I have wireless bad weakness uh -oh. stuff. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to go in and out. Could you go put on your hotspot? But I think. Yeah, let me try to do that. Okay. Keep talking, sorry. Just ignore me. Yeah, so what Dana's... Always technical um, difficulties. We always have technical difficulties. That's what live uh, TV is all about here. <gasps> it just ended. So, um, you fix your thing and I'll keep oh, talking. Oh, now I'm live again. Oh. I don't understand. No, I'm not. He yes, I am. trying to connect. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. I'm going to ignore me. So, um, we can always share this show on your thing. So, anyways, if you're tuning in... Um, we are live at um, Tiger Shark Cove Park in Wellington. So I took a little trip um, to Wellington from East Boca and um, to take the guys. Well, um, this park is amazing. So um, it's actually behind us because we wanted to be in some shade. But we'll definitely um, have an after show mm -hmm. of you guys so you could, you're able to um, you're able to uh, see that we're saying goodbye to a, a nice. Um, Mom Local. And Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. So, um, yeah. Uh, Dana's having technical difficulties. That's the only thing you just never know. We're, we're never sure yep. how our um, connection will be. So, anyways, so, and she's back. Oh, yeah. oh that's great. Yay. Okay. She's trying. Well, she's trying to build an audience now. Okay. Maybe Facebook wasn't liking her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not liking my hair either. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Siley. So, um, hey guys. Hi. Oh, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's tuning in, and we were talking about Mercury is in retrograde, which I don't even know what that means. It's some like star stuff. I know there's probably a full moon coming up soon. There has to be. Something. Yeah, but I said last night I was in Mercury rum retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's a good like that one? to be. Yeah. Anyways, so. Um, so we've got all these fun people tuning in, and it always takes a few minutes for live uh, Facebook Live to connect mm -hmm. to you. So we are so Flow Moms on the go. I'm here with Dana from Pellerini, and I'm Heather with Local Mom Scoop. And so we're here in Wellington today. So um, how was your weekend? It was actually it was very busy. We had family in town, and we had we celebrated Hanukkah and Christmas. So okay. we had. Christmas Eve was lighting the candles, then having Christmas di Christmas Eve dinner. But it was a lot of fun, a lot of happy kids Christmas morning, Aww. and a lot of eating. Awesome. How was yours? Well, I always have some fun drama. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, um, for some reason, December has been the month of sickness. I swear, we were on a roll. We were doing really well the whole entire school season. Mm -hmm. And then on Christmas Eve... I had decided I've been wanting to do this forever is go to the beach since we live in South Florida and do like a Christmas Eve morning on the beach. And I think the last couple years the weather's been kind of not so great, overcast or super windy. Well, it was like today. It was gorgeous. And I have everybody in the car and my little one is like on the couch under a blanket and I'm thinking she's just, sometimes she can be like, she's a chill kid, you know, she likes to just hang on the couch. And I'm like, come on, let's go, get up. I'm actually mm -hmm. kind of frustrated. And uh, not being a, you know, great mom, I guess. You're excited. I'm, thinking, I'm you excited. excited. I want to do this. I got everything in the car, and I walk over to her, and um, I'm like, oh, I'm, 
not feeling good about this. Mm -hmm. And I totally take her temperature and it's 102. Oh, so yay! Hours. So we, I literally shifted all of Christmas Eve dinner at my mom's house to my house. And you know, it was just like, I wanted to make it special. So my oldest was so awesome and helpful and the other one poured things on the couch. So loaded her up with some, you know, ibuprofen and did Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. And then Christmas Day, she she was able to hang actually a little mm -hmm. you know Tylenol kicking in and yeah, so she was good. yeah she was good so um, it all ended up being pretty good yeah yeah I think everybody had fun. I mean they got what they wanted they were happy right so um, yeah beautiful it's weather really for the holidays you can see in South Florida here if you're not in South Florida it is really warm. Yeah, I'm sweating. I think we're always sweating when we do the show. I want to one day be like, can I wear like some boots and like a, you know, a And parka. a scarf for a real reason other than accessorizing well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. So, um, okay, so we talked about our weekends. Yes. What do we have, um, what okay. do we have trending? Oh, so now it's kind of a little bit drab. So, unfortunately, and... I'm sure you guys have all heard. So unfortunately, what's been trending has been death. I know. Famous celebrity death. It's such a bummer. It's like holiday time. And that's what makes it even worse is that it's holiday time. It's a happy time. And it's just so sad. That, and they're young, too. Alan Thick, 53. I know. I love me some growing pains, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love him. So that's it's hard, I guess, when you have, like, nostalgic people from television and... Mm -hmm movies and things that, are, that set times in your life start to pass, then you start to kind of feel old. Old. <laughs> old and Not like, to be rude, but old, yeah. And so. scared, too. And scared, yeah. Definitely. Um, oh, Rosie's saying we need to come up to Jersey and visit her. I know. So we can wear some scarves. Maybe oh, we'll have true. to do a location. We could do a location. <laughs> a travel. <laughs> we'll be travel. like, where in the world is Sofa Mama's on the go? <laughs> Maybe we'll be in Jersey. Where did they go? Anyways, so yeah, yep. so Alan Thick, and then oh gosh, yesterday is so sad. I can't even let my kids watch the uh, news with Carrie Fisher because they are like Star Wars freaks yeah. right now. And I tell them they have Star Wars itis, and I mean they <laughs> literally are obsessed. I and I did, I just saw Rogue One. So side note, it's PG-13 for a reason. So oh, they can't. I didn't see it. Yeah, they can't quite see that yet, but I let them see The Force Awakens, and we're going good, we're chilling, we're good to go. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Force Awakens, disconnect now, but there's a, someone famous, like, dies in the movie, and they were devastated. I mean, I didn't know that that was going to happen, so I can't imagine. Hi! Um, my little one's standing right here, so we're going to wait for her to... But anyways, yes. So if they see, they know who Carrie Fisher is, and they know she's an actress. So if they see that, right. it's just going to blow their mind. So I've had to keep the news off the last couple of days. Oh, I know. Oh, it's such a bummer. It really is. I mean, on to a better or a happier note. Today is National Chocolate Candy Day. So I think we need to go to Hoffman's and get us some chocolate. I do too. They're right around, they're not, they're close by kind of, aren't they? Yeah, they're right off of, um, they're right off of Lake Worth, so you can take South Shore to Lake Worth. Okay. Whoops. I thought I could turn everything. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> well, and Hoffman's, I had to go sort of through Green Acres, but I might have missed it, but they have their, their biggest, their winter wonderlands there. It's still there, right? Till New Year's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to I check that out. out. I really need to go. That's but okay. today's a good day to go because you're celebrating a very important holiday. Yes, and you can go in there and um, you can watch them make chocolate. It's actually pretty cool in the main. I've never seen that, yeah. I hadn't either. Uh -huh. And I just went into the Winter, Winter Wonderland. So we'll post more about that after the show. Definitely. Um, what other chocolates? Um, I mean, my oldest son lives on the Hershey's, uh, the Nuggets. Oh yeah. yeah, and he feels that he needs, he needs to have dessert after every meal except for breakfast, which is good. So after lunch, I'll be like, "How many can I have?" And it's like this skit we go through after every meal, and I'm like, "How much lunch did you eat?" And then he could have like two or three after dinner. Same thing. How many can I have? It's like a negotiating every oh, yeah. time. Oh yeah. I'm like, "Did you eat all your broccoli?" I ate four. Four what? Did you eat all of your broccoli? If you eat all your broccoli, you'll get this. If hey, not, at least I eat broccoli. Mine are like, like I'm like bribing them. I know. Mine are like gagging. Um, oh, ranch. He dips it in ranch, just like everything else. Oh, sorry. Lindsay says she'll see 
Will he, to know. Will you see us at the Orange Bowl this year? No, but my husband's going. He is so psyched. And um, the crazy thing is, so if anybody's tuning in the Orange Bowl, it's uh, Florida State versus Michigan. And um, my husband's dad, my father-in-law went to Michigan. And then half the family went to Florida State. So I told him, I said, are you going to wear a t-shirt, like sew a t-shirt in half? Are you going to be like crazy by the end of the, yeah. So, um, Go Knowles. I know I'm like, are you going to be like, yay, Michigan, yay, yay Florida Knowles. State, yay. <laughs> like, <laughs> he might be crazy by the end of the night. So, um, anyways, yeah, so he's going, I don't get to go. I just, it's a boys thing. I didn't get invited, but that's okay. We're going to have a, right. We're going to have a game night. You want to say hi? No. Come in no. and say hi real quick. My boys have not been seen Look at in a long camera. time. And say hi. There's Drew. No. Okay. Go play. What the fuck? Okay. Bye. <laughs> so. I want to go home. Aww. <laughs> oh, she always wants to. Aww. She'd be under a blanket watching. Like they literally. I was the hashtag mother of the year yesterday. It was literally after all the presents they got, they literally. Uh, were on their iPads and I was working on the computer. It was one of those days. But I mean, it's hard. You work but, from home and it, it's hard to get that balance of spending time with them because you know that it's their vacation and you want them to have a great time. But at the same time, you you still have like I have clients that I have to that I work with. Right. And I I, I want to do my work and I feel so bad. So we negotiate like okay, I'm gonna work for a half hour and then we're gonna go practice baseball. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and I am gonna do a little bit more work and then, you know, and of course there's electronics interjected in there. It's kind of, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's the way of the future. It really is, unfortunately. But, you know, I, I like to think that they're playing educational games on the <laughs> And Minecraft, to a degree, I yes, feel like. Yes, we do Minecraft, so, um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All we'll right, so what, so what else is trending? Um, as everyone knows, New Year's is this weekend. Cannot believe it's, 20, it's going to be 2017 already. And uh, top of the list is New Year's resolutions. Are you, do you have resolutions? Did you plan them? I used to make a ton of them, but then I would overwhelm myself. I am, one resolution is I'm working in, like, for a local mom scoop, and I'm actually planning some really awesome stuff for next year. So I'm goal setting for that. But one of the things, and I've written about it every year, is... I probably two things is one is trying to be like we talked about this Lindsay's on here is trying to be present to the moment you know and really just with the phone and social media it can be such a distraction especially with your family and you feel like you know and a post I wrote a couple years ago was we went to Disney and I had just really got the blog going and I was like oh my gosh is this post going and is it moving and what's happening and finally my phone died. We hadn't really, chargers I guess weren't really like a huge oh, like thing. Like the ones, travel yeah. chargers hadn't been really out yet. And once my phone died, I was like, oh, there's nothing I can do. And then I was like, oh, there's my family. And then I just like actually started having fun and stopped feeling like frenetic and crazy and feeling totally like, you know, oh, Tiffany says goals, not resolutions. Yes, very goals. true. Goals, very true. okay. So what's trending in goals? So so I'm present to the moment, mm -hmm. and um, just you know, for those of you who have you know significant others or married or whatever, just trying to keep that date night. I'm really started that, and of course you know with kids and, and the holidays in November, December were kind of crazy, but it really gets pushed aside. trying to do if not two Saturdays a month of just getting out and being able to have a conversation. Yeah, no, it is. It's so important. I mean, Rich and I try to, at least once a month, not even two Saturdays, at least once a month, um, we'll enlist the grandparents or call it a babysitter and go out. And we make a game of it, like, <laughs> how long can we last without talking about the kids? Oh, God. Like, let's talk about us. us. You know, no, or, it does happen. Oh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be going really well, and then the appetizer comes, and I'm like, oh, Nathan, we'd love, I don't, you know, you, you, you catch yourself, and it's not that you don't want to talk about the kids, but you want to talk about each other, and like, what's going on in each other's lives. You may be with each other every day, but do you really talk about those things, you know? No. Except for like, did you do the laundry? Right. Or did you take out the garbage? Right. Or we need milk? You know? Or, and all of a sudden you'll get together, and because you do, I call it the hamster wheel, and mm -hmm. sometimes you just get together and you're like, I didn't know that, you didn't tell me, and I didn't know that, you didn't tell me, and that mm -hmm. whole thing starts where... 
you've just you're you know you put the kids to bed and you're passing and then you sit down and you kind of put a show on or yeah. get on your you know laptop devices or devices. Or read. And, I love yeah. to read at night. I mean, my husband looks at me and I'm like. I have my Kindle. I want to catch up on my reading. So, I yeah. To, I so, you got to get away approach. from. No, but you got to get out of the house, I think. Yeah. I think out of your. Because I think it's a distraction for us. We find things that need to be done and it's hard to, like. Yeah. I agree. And you don't even have to go, like, somewhere expensive dinner. You don't have to do anything like that. Like, yeah. go to the beach. I mean, exactly. down here you can. Go to the beach. Put out a blanket. Grab a bottle of wine. Like, that's so nice. Just sit and talk. Watch the sunset. Or it'll probably be later. But, like, you know, do something like that. Yeah. So it's not so much pressure. Right. You don't have to, like, plan a whole thing and get all dressed up. Unless you want to, of course. I always, like, find all these outfits I want to wear because they're so pretty, but then I have nowhere to go. So you need to go on a date. Yes. We need dates. So let us know what your goals are. Um, maybe you can do... Oh, an unplug night. Yes. I think that is the way to go. That would be awesome. Okay. Love that, Lindsay. We're unplugging for one night. We used to play board games, actually. Um... We used to, I just got, if you guys remember, Payday. Do you remember Payday? Oh my God, yeah. I that's know. So I found I like, and I, my kid, one of my girls got Clue for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And that is actually, that's a really hard game actually I for a six year old. Clue. But it, I know. So we start doing some old school um, games and stuff and just making a glass of wine mm -hmm. and put some music on and hanging out. So we're going to unplug once a week. I need to that's do that. That's a good idea. Now, do you play with the kids, you do the unplugged. I mean the game night. Or do you do it with your husband? Um, no, no. We put the kids to bed and we've done oh, games. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We do Scrabble. Um, he's better at me than... Yeah, he's better. Oh, Rich kicks I'm my terrible. butt every time. But like... Know. And then I tell him he's cheating. He's not cheating. And <laughs> it's all me. But... Um, or my new thing is jigsaw puzzles. I oh, love cool. them. So now that the holidays are over, my, I've gotten my dining room table back. Yeah. So I put out puzzles. I, I'll do like... I have a thousand piece puzzle. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And it, it's just quiet. Do the boys come there? by and just kind of help? No. Okay. No, no. It's not electronic. It doesn't go <laughs> beep boop beep. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't do anything. Uh, I wish they would, but I know. a thousand pieces might be a little bit overwhelming for them. Yeah. What but, else? Well, let us know your goals. Mm -hmm. um, we would we've love changed to hear it from them. resolutions to goals, thanks to Tiffany. So, yes. So um, down below. And maybe it's something we're missing. I'm sure I'm, I could add to my list of uh, things to work on. Yeah. Of course, it's your typical, I'm going to go back to Pilates. I'm going to try to meditate. <laughs> like all these crazy things you keep I've gotten adding. as far as downloading the app. O OMG. I know. I can meditate. OMG. I know. We'll give them a plug. But I don't have time to meditate. No. I just put some good tunes on in the car and just jam when I don't huge. have the kids. Yeah. It's huge for me. Yeah. It's so. a big stress reducer. I even finally wrote... An, a post about holiday stressors and what to do to relax yourself, especially around like holiday time when you have family over and you're planning parties and stuff like that. And one of the biggest things is music. Like, if you need to get out energy, put on some crazy dance music and dance around. Who cares what anyone else thinks? Get it, get the energy out. Or if you need just quiet time, put on that Zen music. I don't know, Enya. What do you put on? Oh, like, you know Enya what I put on? on? I'm gonna plug them. So on Pandora, it's called Vitamin. I'll find it. It's some kind of vitamin violin group, and literally, it's a violin group, and I heard them at a restaurant one time, and they were playing Nirvana on the violin, and playing, awesome. like, and playing Coldplay, and playing some other stuff, so, um, okay, Lindsay says, one of my goals is to finally do laundry properly, <laughs> oh, Lindsay. separating my whites from everything else. I know it's pathetic, but I'm always too lazy. I get I it. I hardly, I don't separate. I separate. I don't separate, and, um... I mean, Nathan's new swim shirt did turn pink, but it did literally last night. But that's because <laughs> I put the red tablecloth from Christmas dinner in with it. Oh, yeah. So I, if I just Like, you can't off. do towels with, like, something that'll stick, the lint will stick to. Right, right. Now, see, my true. resolution is putting it away. So it's all done. It's all folded. folded it gets in a basket. In a pile. And then I have three baskets sitting in my bedroom that of clothes that need to be put because I hate putting clothes away. So maybe you and I need to come up with some sort of like. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That uh, my all scene girl, idea. my all yeah. scene girl Lindsay, we need to come up with something. So. Um, okay, what did she say? I always do towels with clothes. <laughs> I know, Lindsay. So does my I husband. Do too. Yeah, Listen, I, somebody. They just people just have certain priorities, you know, that they things that they focus on, mm -hmm. and I was probably brainwashed by my mom. She's a good laundry person, so. Um, it didn't. It didn't seep in with me because my mom is good too. I can't. I don't it's know. Be a why. generational thing of just like that was something that you know. 
they did. We just don't have time for laundry. That's the problem. It's just it not just a piles up. It's just like a, it's away, an annoyance, more. I think, for us now because it's not one of those womanly things that mm -hmm. you know we have so many other things that we want to accomplish and do instead of wearing clean underwear. <laughs> Who needs a clean underwear? We Anyone don't care. that has kids out there, like, what age did you, if yet, have your kids start to put the laundry away? Because I tried. My, yeah. I have an 11 and a 9 year old, and I tried to have them put their laundry away. Um, and I'm lucky it gets, even gets in the room. And then once it gets in the room, it's if it sits there and I don't notice that it's not in the drawers properly, yeah. it gets unfolded and it's all over the place. Then it ends up on the floor and then it ends up back in the laundry basket because they right. think that it's dirty. And then I'm constantly washing a shirt that's totally clean. So it's like a vicious cycle. Yeah. So I don't know. I think I think my oldest is should totally be able to do his laundry. That is going to be a goal. That's one of my goals. Okay. Is more responsibility for the kids. More responsibilities. <laughs> no, but true. I mean, what are they going to learn? No, they need to learn. All right. <sighs> what time is that? I'm make sure I don't... Okay. Die here. We are good so far. So now, what we're going to talk about? Yeah, um, I don't want to mix okay. It really besides dirty. New Year's resolutions, fifty-one um, is quickly talk about New Year's Ooh, Eve fashion. Oh yeah. So um, I just wrote a post put out yesterday about um, I've gotten invited to a couple home parties. I mean, I guess mostly that's what people would do anyways. But mm. there are some a lot of restaurants and like you know the resort and the clubs and places mm -hmm. have stuff that you can go to if you want but uh, most of us if you have kids don't have sitters so um mm -hmm. but you know I just wrote about you know you still want to be have a little sparkle so I did a couple three outfits that I thought would be great to wear to a house party that so one tank to... top I want to get oh thanks yeah it's awesome well That's and that would want. look good on you and then it was just a sparkle tank top that you can wear back with jeans so you still have oh, a little nice. sparkle but you're not like overly dressed if it's kind of a low-key Super but you fun. still look good. Yeah. Pictures going into exactly. the new year, right? Definitely. So, um, what did Tiffany say? Sorry. Um, Once a week only. Do it all in one day. Kids have to put away their... I know. I know. I hear you. And Lucy. I, I sign it to my kids. Lucy does too. I, um, um... She said five or six. Oh, my... I have a six-year-old. I'm trying. Um, I know. We're back to laundry again. Sorry. Because it, it took a little minute to get... Um, yeah. Oh, Rosie. What about, what about body suits? Rosie's saying body suits. For New Year's? I guess. But then you have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and you're probably going body to be suits were hot for drinking me beverages. They're back. They're back. Oh, they are? They're back. But the thing, okay, the whole thing with the body suits, no, no, it's like you have to unsnap. I mean, at the end of the night, you're probably going to snap it. Yeah, but I need a body suit that's going to suck, suck in this in. muffin top yes. so that it's not like I, a body suit, then a roll, then my jeans. <laughs> that would be me too. I think we need to, I bet you Spang says something. I'm sure Spang says. We need to look into Did that. Did she say, yeah. I'm sure we're waiting for the comments to come up. Here we yeah. go. I'm wearing a black bodysuit and it keeps everything in. It does? Ooh. Can you send us the link to that yeah. black bodysuit? Post your... love it. Post a picture yeah, of it. Yeah, post a picture of it on this. It would be great. Um, Lucy, we're staying home for New Year's Eve. We are literally going to... We're making steak and lobster. Oh, and we're opening up a fabulous bottle of wine. And then I have some um, ideas of things to do because we're going to be home with the kids. Cool. I wrote about it on the blog. It went live today. Oh, good. And it's... Um, Ways to keep them. Okay, my kids fall asleep at like nine o'clock anywhere or yeah. nine nine thirty. Sometimes the younger one will stay up till ten thirty, but usually it's not. It's not the case. So they fall asleep. Nathan falls asleep standing up in like I don't even know. He's like unbelievable. So I'm gonna try to keep them up a little bit and type some games and fun things and like cool. sparkling cider and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that to keep make it more festive. So if you want to read those ideas, they're on my blog today. Cool. Oh, Lindsay loves body suits. She tucks in everything. Perfect for sure. Yeah, shirt. but you have like the cutest figure. Yeah, Lindsay. really. You like go to flywheel all the time. You need to take me with you next time. So, um, Lucy, yeah, I have to have a little party. We never have plans either. I actually have a friend inviting us over, and I'm bringing the kids. So we'll see how that goes. And it's probably going to start at eight. So they're coming in their pajamas. Oh yeah. And we're just going to probably do karaoke or something fun, Stop. appetizers. Yeah, Love so it. I normally don't have any plans. Um, but I, it's because I can bring the kids. So um, right. she cool, said, let's though. do a flywheel date. All right, we'll have to flywheel. Are you melting over here? Oh, you want to sit down for a minute? Get your water. Oh, Aww. Okay, cool. Rosie tagged us a picture of her bodysuit. Thank so you. We we're can't see it right it now, but when we um, I might need to log it. off. I know we're all like sitting up. Okay. Um, we did want to, I know, I know we're running a little bit out of time, but we did want to talk about um, the research on the food 
For good luck in the new year. Oh yeah, so there's supposed to be some uh, foods that are good luck foods that people love. I always cook um, black eyed peas mm -hmm. and um, collard greens because it's like a southern thing. I grew up in the south and um, the black eyed peas are what? What were they Good for? luck. Good luck and then the, the, the um, collard, collard greens. greens were money, it's supposed to be folded. Like, you know, so for prosperity, what do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, pork symbolizes wealth and prosperity in some countries and nationalities. And also lentils. Um, in Italy, they signify wealth and prosperity. Oh, yeah. Missy just said lentils. Oh, Missy. Yeah. We're on the same page. Um, and then also soba noodles symbolize long life in Japan. But you can't cut them or bite them. So basically you have to, like, suck them in. Like, you can't. Because then if you cut them or bite them, it yeah, breaks the, the long walk. life. That's scary. I'd be nervous. <laughs> I'd be nervous to eat I know. Them. Don't, it's a good fortune Maybe thing. like next week. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that's real. That's it, right? Yeah. Soba noodles and then what else? So what about, um, should we do our blogger tip of the week? Yeah. Because we're going to run it. We're getting ready to go here. So what's our blogger tip? Oh, this is one of mine that I learned mm -hmm. that I thought I would share. So I did an Instagram live on... Um, my box of style with Rachel Zoe, which I love, by the way. Actually, the lighting was great. I was by the tree. I had my helper here, like, trying on stuff. It was awesome. Got done with the whole thing and was like, okay, where can I save it? Where can I go? Just, like, Facebook Live and even Snapchat. And um, I was like, oh, it's totally gone. Like, it's totally gone. Yeah. So I'm sure that'll be a feature they'll be working on. Um, and maybe it is a feature now, and I'm just being a total... No, I've heard but I did not. About yeah, that. so I was so bummed out because I was like, "Wow, this is like," I mean, I was unpackaging all the stuff and everything, and I was like, "Do I have to do this again?" It's kind of a bummer. So, wait for Instagram Live. If you're gonna do it, don't do anything major. That if you want to. Yeah, want. if you just want to show where you are, but you still you can't save it. So I would rather Facebook Live it, and then I don't even know if you can share or video. Actually, do a video and then upload it. So well, you could Instagram, Facebook Live it, and I have a way that you can download the Facebook Live video, and then you can save it to YouTube, or you can use some kind of like iMovie or something, yeah. and chop it, and then post it to Instagram. Yeah. Um, oh, good. I'm glad that helped you, Lindsay. Yeah, she said thanks for the tip. So. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Um, and then also, we always have a question of the week. So when you get a chance, maybe in the comments below, what was your favorite holiday gift that you got? We would love to hear. Mine was... 12 months of massages because my back is terrible. Oh my god, that's awesome. And yeah, I mean, it's more health, but I'm so happy. Like, I can't wait. I know it's not going to be one of those like Zen massages, but if it helps me hey, that I'm I not like that. a crooked old woman, I'm fine. What was your favorite gift? Um, okay, I asked for this, but I got a mall. I got a real bag. I got a Henry Bendel bag. Yay! So I'm not carrying a mom tote anymore. So this is awesome. I will post this too, and I can post a, an affiliate link if you want to see. But it was amazing, and oh, it I has. Can't wait to see it. It's a mom. Oh, everybody's coming email. in. I know everybody's sweating. They're being such good. Um, they're being such good. They're being uh, so good. We're gonna treat them to lunch. After. Yes. Share Dana. A uh, gold what? bar cart. Oh, for drinks. Oh, I can't wait I to see you. that. So My laptop and a winter jacket. Oh, oh, you guys got the new work chair for Tiffany. Twelve months. There you go. I know. I know. Everybody's popping Nathan in. Nathan, pop in. Say, say hi. hi. On top hey. There's Nathan. They've been such troopers. James is so hi. sweaty. Hi. So, um, yeah. Cool. So, so share. I think my Henry Bendel bag. So, I'm pretty You're excited saying, about Go, that. Chicago. I, I went flying off the tire. Okay, now they're getting a little bit crazy. All right. Be careful. We're in the tripod. Yes. Go, nice. Chicago. Oh, nice Lindsay got, got a professional camera. Okay. I'll get you a nice back. I went flying off the tire. Oh, Lucy got wine glasses. Good job. You guys are scrolling it so fast we can't keep I know. I oh, love hi, kids. Hi. Tiffany says hi. Say hi, Tiffany. Hello. <laughs> hola. I don't know who you guys are, but hello. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so. They were so good. But, so thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry, my phone completely. I know. And this is your neck of the woods. I'm surprised it didn't. So, so we'll share my show yes. on uh, Dana's. Yes. And um, so thanks for tuning in to SoFlo Moms on the Go. You can find yes. where can me we find at uh, Pellerini.com or Pellerini Proclaim for both Instagram and Facebook. And you can find me at um, localmomscoop.com and I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. So cool. <laughs> you name it as Local Mom Scoop. And you can, um, we will do an after show 
um, of Wellington today. We're going to yep. be hanging out in Wellington, so we'll do some pics of the park. This park's amazing. It's worth the trip if you don't live in this area. And um, definitely so cute. We'll it's do all like Instagram story. Instagram story and Snapchat will be on there, so you can follow after the show. So thanks for tuning in, happy new and year, yeah, happy new year. Happy we'll new see you guys in 2017. Wait, you want to play kickball? Okay, bye. Kickball.